big news adobe firefly for video is here for everybody so now we can take text prompts and turn them into videos or we can take images and animate them turn those into videos or we can even generate images inside of firefly or inside of other tools and we can turn those into videos and do motion graphics so much more we're going to look at it all right now so first of all i'll show you how to create a basic video from a text prompt and then we're going to jump in and look at all these different options and then there's different ways of working with reference images and things like that we're going to go through all of those but first of all let's just start with a basic prompt okay so i'm going to create this prompt here and we're just going to hit generate and we're going to generate a video just from this text so it takes about 90 seconds or so to create a video so you got to be a little bit patient now these videos will be generated at full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. According to Adobe, this is the first AI video generator that is safe for work and safe for commercial use because all the training is done either on footage that Adobe has permission to use, such as in Adobe stock or stuff from the uh, public domain, which is royalty free. All right, let's have a look and see how this video came out. So this is just from text. Let's hit the play button. And there we go, we have a horse runs off. Now the clips generated are about five seconds in length. And as you can see, that's, that's not bad. I mean, yeah, it's not perfect, but it's certainly for a first go, that's pretty good. All right, let's have a look at some of the different options that we can do when we're creating the video. So right now we're using Firefly for video as the model. And then under aspect ratio, we have two options. We have vertical or horizontal. So it's either 1920 by 1080 or 1080 by 1920 if you want to do, you know, for social media. And then frames are fixed at 24 frames per second at the moment. And then if we come down to the camera, we have a few different options. So the shot size, as we can see here, we can do an extreme close up, a close up, medium shot, long shot, and extreme long. So why don't we do this as a long shot for here? And we're going to redo this. Now the camera angle. We have the ability to do an aerial shot if we want to make it look like a drone or a helicopter. And then, of course, all these different angles. Actually, let's go for a low angle shot. So it's going to be more dramatic kind of looking up. And now we can have motion. Originally, we did this first one for static motion, which the camera's not really moving. But then we can do things like zoom in and out. So it could be, you know, like the camera could be like a dolly move in and out. And then we have the option to move left or right. So that would be like tracking. And then of course we have the tilt so we can tilt up or tilt down. And then handheld would just give it a little bit of handheld movement. So why don't we do this one zooming out? The video generated is five seconds in length. So let's just hit generate now and see what it looks like with these different settings. All right, and let's have a look at the new shot. So we're gonna hit the play. Oh, I like this one a lot more. This is more what I was looking for with the camera pulling out. It's actually working really nice following that motion of that horse. Now, all the videos that you generate, we can click on this little generation history and this will show us the different videos that we've generated. So we can also work from a reference image. So let's choose the first frame and we're gonna use this, see if we can animate that. So we're gonna upload. We're gonna create a new video. So let's just get rid of that prompt. And let's do happily sipping on a drink. Now notice because we're using a reference image, we don't get to change the camera angle or the shot size because it's going to take that from the photo. So what we can do is play around with the motion. So why don't we have it pan to the left as we're um, doing the video and let's hit generate. And if you look, you can see the progress bar there. See the uh, blue is showing me that we're almost halfway done. And you can also click on here if you wanted to delete it and say, hey, you know, I really don't want to do that. And you can also delete some of the other ones. But let's just let it run. And as we can see, the first frame looks very much like the photo, which it should. All right, so let's hit the play button and see what it's done. Okay, so there we go. There she is sipping on her drink. So as you saw, when it got to the last frame, the face got a little bit weird. Um, but I would expect this is just going to improve like everything else. But let's also have a look in the window and see what's happening in the window there. I can see we've got people out on the street. We've got a nice reflection. We've got people moving inside. There's definitely some nice details going on there. Let's clear this. And I want to show you something interesting. So if we set a first and last frame, it can actually morph between the two frames. So let's grab the first frame. And since everybody's obsessed about eggs these days, here's a picture of some eggs that I grabbed from the grocery store. So we're going to hit the upload and then we want to end the frame. So what I've done is I've actually taken these eggs and I just put a little bit of bling bling in there just for fun. I have that tutorial on Photoshop Cafe, but let's have it end on there. 
So basically it's going to morph between the two, but I want to make it look kind of more interesting than that. So what we're going to do is under the prompt. Okay. So the text flies in, so we're going to have it animate that text, but notice because we've got a start and an end, we don't have any control over this motion either because it's going to be using these, they're going to control it. So pretty much at this point, because we're using a start and an end reference image, we can't really change anything on it here, except for the aspect ratio. Of course, it's going to go for the aspect original aspect ratio of the photo, and we'll just let it do that. And then we're going to choose generate. And we'll just say eggs text flies in and hit generate. So it looks like the prompt has to be at least four words. I tried with three and it wouldn't let me do it. All right, let's see what we've got here at the play. Oh, look at these eggs are kind of appearing and the text is animated. That's actually not bad. That's pretty cool. Let's watch that again. All right, so as you can see, it created some cool motion graphics for me just based on the graphics that I already created. If I want to grab that video, I just simply choose download and I can download the video. So when it generates, you can also rate it. Thumbs up means you liked it. Thumbs down means you don't. You can click on here and you can submit an, a bug or a comment to Adobe. And to get to this, you need to go to firefly.adobe.com and you need to have a Creative Cloud account and then you can log in and you can use the generate video, which is a beta right now. Now this will also work with generated images. Let me show you. All right, why don't I grab this image that I generated in another app called CG Dream and I'm going to upload this and I'm going to choose camera orbit around scene and then we're going to generate. All right, it's it's doing the orbit. Notice your dress is kind of flowing in the wind. There we go. Things are kind of blowing in the breeze. The embers are flying. It's orbiting the camera. That's pretty cool. All right, let's go full circle. I'm going to go from a pencil sketch generate this image inside of Adobe Firefly from that image. And now we're going to take this image and we're going to insert it into video. All right. So let's try airplane sitting on runway and fog propellers are spinning. The fog is moving. And to add a little bit of drama, why don't we zoom this in? Okay, here we go. Remember this started as a pencil sketch. Let's see what we've got. Oh, look at that. We're moving in. Okay. The propellers are a little weird. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, in a situation like that, we can just hit generate and it'll generate it again. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take propellers are spinning. I'm going to take that off because I think it's putting too much emphasis on the propellers. And then we're just going to generate again and that should fix it. All right, let's try again. See what we've got this time. Oh, there we go. Okay, still got a little ways to go, but as far as the progression, just from a pencil sketch to video, it's pretty amazing the direction this is heading. Let's do a handheld low angle shot of a cartoon style of a cat running through a workshop. Let's play this. Okay, it definitely has the handheld look. And I wouldn't say it looks so much like a cartoon, but the interesting thing is I did claymation and I kind of got a cartoon style instead of the claymation, but some interesting kind of things here, different styles. Let me show you this one. So as you can see, Adobe's made big strides into generated video. Yeah, it's got a little bit of ways to go, but just like imagery, it's just going to get better and better over time. So I'm curious, drop a comment underneath and let me know what you think about this. If there's any areas that you would like me to dig a little deeper into videos, let me know as well. And if you're new, welcome to the cafe. Hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and you won't miss any of my valuable videos. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.